Hi, I'm Ruslan. I'm the Notebook Platform Architect at NVIDIA. Today I'll share with you the inner workings of the CPU Optimizer, a key feature for making the 2022 RTX laptops spot thinner and faster. Unique to laptops, power dissipation is shared between the major components, the biggest two being the GPU and the CPU. So it is very important to get maximum efficiency from both of them. That's why we developed the CPU Optimizer, a key new 4th Gen Max-Q technology that makes the CPU more efficient when gaming or creating. The extra power saved can now be shifted between the CPU and the GPU, wherever it is needed the most. Let me tell you about the six things we did to make your laptop CPU even more efficient. First, we worked with CPU vendors to develop a new low-level framework. This enables the GPU software to optimize the performance, temperature, and power of the latest CPUs. Second, we pair this framework with a host of techniques to further improve CPU power. The CPU, when uncoordinated with the GPU, will prefer higher frequencies, and this results in higher power. For games and creative apps, this is not efficient. Based on the GPU's detailed workload telemetry, an AI engine inside Max-Q coordinates both the GPU and the CPU. It determines the optimal frequency for both processors, which happens seamlessly in real time. The AI regulates the CPU to run at peak efficiency instead of peak frequency. Power is saved and transferred to the GPU to boost overall performance. Thirdly, we profiled the major graphics APIs for CPU inefficiencies and streamlined the entire GPU driver stack. The driver runs multiple threads across the CPU cores, and we optimized how they synchronize. We re-architected the internal data structures so the threads don't need to block and wait on each other as often. We went as far as to tweak the individual function definitions to reduce co-overhead. With everything combined, we observed CPU efficiency going up by as much as 2x in directed API tests. Our fourth key technique for optimizing system power is to move work from the CPU to a dedicated command processor on the GPU. We use it to offload the CPU from low-level tasks. An example is command validation, which performs pointer verification and bounce checking. This routine task happens on the command processor, enabling both the GPU and CPU to focus on other computations. Fifth, for creator apps, we've optimized how the CPU sends work to the GPU and collects the results back. The driver now puts the CPU into deep sleep while the GPU does the work. After the GPU completes, it immediately wakes up the CPU, improving responsiveness and efficiency. An example is camera background removal in NVIDIA Broadcast. It is a continuous process that doesn't need the highest performance. So we now put the CPU into deep sleep while the GPU processes the video stream. Battery life is extended and noise is reduced. And finally, for eSports, we have optimized NVIDIA Reflex. One of the core reflex techniques is to make the game read the mouse and keyboard states as late as possible before a frame is displayed. This makes the image your eyes see reflect the most recent possible input, reducing latency. We have enhanced that technique by using the same approach we used in Creator Apps, by putting the CPU into deeper, low-power states until it is time to sample the inputs. This not only makes reflex use less CPU power, but also increases overall FPS. In conclusion, the combination of all the four generation Max-Q technologies dramatically reduces CPU power by as much as 55% in recent games. In Witcher 3, we can see this in practice. Without Max-Q, the CPU consumes about 40 watts and is running quite inefficiently. With Max-Q technologies enabled, we see the CPU drop from about 40 watts to 20 watts in the same scene. At the same time, performance goes up by an amazing 17%. This is because Max-Q is transferring that extra 20 watts from the CPU to the GPU, which is making more effective use of it. The whole suite of Max-Q technologies is adaptive, adjusting to workload changes in real time. It kicks in only when it makes sense to, always ensuring peak efficiency and peak performance.